Hi everyone. So staff leave. Staff leave is a very important number that should be correct your accounting file, whatever system you're using. We will talk about zero today, but whatever software you're using, if you're not using zero, the leave number has to be right, irrespective of what systems you're using. So welcome back everyone to Neha's Bookkeeping Corner. And today we're going to go into detail on how to make sure the leave balances of your staff within your accounting file is correct. Number one is making sure you are aware of the type of employment. They so if people are on casual employment, they generally don't get things like, you know, your annual leave and your personal leave. They will, however, get long service leave. Today, we're going to focus mostly on annual leave and personal leave. Whereas if they're full-time or part-time employees, they get annual leave and sick leave in Australia. So um, there's four weeks of annual leave and um, two weeks of personal leave. If your staff is on working on part-time basis, they get pro rata um, annual leave and sick leave. So if it's three days, their four weeks would consist of three-day week, not five-day week. So those things needs to be looked at. Also, when someone is working part-time, let's just say they're working Monday, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so you want to make sure that, you know, those are the only time when they are sick or they're going on annual leave that you pay that, okay? And annual leave is a leave which gets, when gets accumulated, if staff leaves before using it all, then they have entitlement to get paid at the time of with their last payroll. All right, so let's start with the start. So number one thing you want to do is making sure it is set up correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share uh, my screen where we're going to look at setting up of employees correctly as far as their leaves are concerned. So when you go into zero file, you will you can go to payroll and when you click here, and you click on employees, it will take you to a screen where you can see all your current and past employees. When we are adding a new employee, what you want to do is you want to come here, click on new employee. And here you can either add employee with the forms that you already have. Let's just say you're filling up paper forms with the tax file number and everything, or you can bulk upload as well. So we'll click on add employee because we're basically focused a little bit more on um, the leave section, right? So here we're going to add some information. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go down. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to leave. Now, the good thing that Zero has is that it has already done the calculation for you, but there are certain things you want to make sure you've pressed OK. OK, so I'm just going to set up employment information here. Yeah, it won't allow us to put the leave without that information, which is fine. So we'll click on employment. Because it wants to understand whether it's full-time, part-time, casual. Okay, and payroll calendar. We'll just go back to leave now. I think you should be, it's got enough information now for us to process leave. So here, there's assigned default leave type. So if your organization doesn't have any special leave type, we'll do a video in the next coming weeks on special leave types as well. Um, but if you've got default leave, which is your annual leave and, um, and personal leave, you can click here and it will automatically assign default leave types. Okay. When you come to annual leave, it's basing a 38 hour week. So 38 multiplied by 4 is 152. Now, this one here is important that it is paid out. The only time you'll put anything in there is your if you're coming from another system so you want to put opening balance otherwise it should always be zero a lot of times we look at the files and they'll have some sort of balance says like that's not right 
Okay. And then just like that, this person leave as well. And that is not paid out. So this is correct. This is not paid out at the termination. So that's your first step where you want to make sure it is set up correctly. Now, the second thing that I always encourage is keeping an eye on some kind of report. So if you click on report section, we'll just uh, go there in a minute. In the reporting, you've got two ways you can do this. You can either at the end of each payroll, just double check the balances on the payslip or, or uh, you know, leave report. Or what we do with our clients is at the end of the month or the beginning of the month for the prior month, we'll give them leave balance reports. So they're aware of the leave balances for each of their staff. So let me go back to zero here. You've got your leave balances report, which will show you the leave balance. Here what you can do, you've got all employees or you can choose a particular employee leave type. Is it annual leave? Personally, whatever. Um, as of today, I want to see and then grouping. So once I click on update, it will show me the, um, the leave balances. Now, the benefit of checking on these things, uh, you know, for each of the staff member is actually double checking. Is it really correct? And then if you want, if you're unsure if it's correct or not, and you want to see the detail, there's another report, which is a good report. It's called Leave Transaction Report. So you want to go there. Um, and here it will talk about, you know, what hours have been accrued and what hours have been taken, which really helps us um, in making sure that everything is correct. Okay. So here we've got brought forward uh balance and then accrued etc okay if there was any leave taken in that time sorry if there was any leave taken at that time it would have um got a line for leave taken as well so having those balances set up correctly having um checking on those reports correctly and last one is is making sure that when your staff goes away on leave you actually add that in the into the system so what a lot of people do when they're doing their own bookkeeping or payroll um, and they're not from um, bookkeeping background um, and especially if they're coming from a system like MYOB in MYOB the leave the way leave gets entered is different to zero so they would just enter it as more like earning line within payroll rather than deducting the leave balance so when someone is going on leave what you want to do is you want to make sure um, that the leave gets deducted, right? Let's just say, you know, this person, let's just say this person has to take leave. So we'll click on leave right there. And here we'll just go new request and we'll go annual leave. And we'll just say they are taking a day off. Ideally, you want to put description, etc. And then there's leave. If they're going, say, two hours annual leave, you just reduce it there and click on approve. So this is important. And once the payroll is getting done, it will automatically get deducted. Okay. So simple things. Set up correctly. Process leaves correctly. Keep an eye on the reports. You will never get it wrong. Okay, I hope you found this useful and I will see you next time. If there are any other topics you would want us to cover, please comment down below. Also, we do lots of uh, self-study bookkeeping courses and I'll put the link down below if that is of any interest. Until then, um, thank you so much and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.